Hey guys, Chris Ramsey here, obviously. What's going on guys, Chris Ramsey here. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Chris Ramsey here, welcome back to my channel again. Yo, what's up guys, welcome back. Ugh. Yo, what's up, don't panic. Yo, what's up guys, and welcome back. I think I'm playing chess, I see a king I met his what? neck. I'm three steps ahead of every move, now that's a check. Yes, they wanna know my secret, it's because I never slept. <laughs> My nightmares of me at 40 life's a wreck. Hot? Damn. Now my shirts are getting pressed. You're gonna see me, she impressed. And my fans are quite obsessed. I owe them everything I'm blessed. Made a living making art and aiming closely at they neck. If you think I'm not a threat, I'm like, eh, incorrect. Yeah. She called out, put her on block list. I call that options. They can support it, get dropped quick. Yeah. They bring my stock pick. I get some back in the cockpit. First of all, first of all, I just got finished filming my podcast. If you want to check it out, it's called Bottom of the Barrel with my best friend, Wes Barker. Uh, once a week, we post to the barrel and check it out if you like, but that's not why you're here. I just wanted to, oh, whatever. I just want to take a second to say thank you. We just hit 5 million subscribers on this channel. You know, hitting that milestone is, uh, is a tremendous feeling and I couldn't have done it without you guys especially you know thank you for watching these videos for liking them and sharing them and i'm glad we could do this and especially thank you to all the people that work here that make these videos happen uh, I, I would be nowhere without the crew that's behind me so thank you them if you want to check out the intro to today's puzzle it is on the last video we actually live solved this puzzle over on twitch uh, for those of you who were there, we had like almost 20,000 people watching. It was insane, uh, but I've cut up the video uh, so you guys can watch it at home as well. Uh, so enjoy the video. It was a dope puzzle by Labsterium. Shout out to Labsterium. I left their link below where you can check out their work. Uh, they always come through with these amazing puzzles. So thank you to them. Thank you again to you guys uh, for watching these videos. All right, enough of me. Go enjoy. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. So welcome everybody who's new here. Really appreciate you hanging out. Uh, we're going to get into solving this in a second. So this puzzle is not only mechanical, it is also electronic. We are plugged into this and we have some backstory right here. So, and that this is our top down. So when we get some items here, we're going to be throwing it down on the top down, such as this. This is a finger that we've gotten from one of the last puzzles. And apparently we need to use this in today's puzzle somehow. <laughs> this creepy cut off finger. And we got this letter and we got a third angle here. So if you want to cut to this angle, we'll show you exactly what I'm seeing and we can go into detail and look at certain things with you guys. So that way we don't miss out on anything. And this thing turns and spins. So we'll be able to see every single angle. I'm going to read this letter. We'll just go through it. Uh, it says, Dear Sir, your work as a puzzle solver has always interested us. Allow us to introduce ourselves. We are a team of puzzle and brain teaser enthusiasts from a small private French museum you probably have not heard of. For decades, we have been collecting and safekeeping oddities and works of art from all around the world as you do yourself. Hence our interest in your videos. Though we enjoy modern takes on puzzles, we specialize in antiques. And thus, most items of our own collection are quite old. None so old though, and none so puzzling as the one we have sent you. This one here, namely. For years, even our cleverest associates have failed to find a way to fully reveal this puzzle's secrets, but the reason for that only came to our attention recently. You see, we realize we are not meant for this piece, not as you are yourself. As strange as it may seem in writing, we think the person who built this puzzle, however long ago, wanted you to have it. You and no one else. So we came to the decision of sending it to you in hopes you may uncover the secrets that have eluded us thus far. We will take great, great pleasure in seeing your results on video if you agree. Respectfully, the Labsteria Museum of Peculiar Puzzles, Extraordinary Enigmas, and Bizarre Brain Teasers. P.S. Do not just take our word for it. Try it. This is your puzzle. We are quite certain. P.P.S. Try unscrewing something first. Just a tip. So we've already got a clue. We got to unscrew something and that is how we're going to get started here. Try unscrewing something first. So I'm thinking none of this unscrews. Maybe these unscrew. Maybe this here. Oh, there's, there's a little button here. This one moves. This one here. Uh, oh, here we go. Oh, we have our first piece right here. So I'll leave that here. Uh, maybe take my camera and see what's going on inside. All right, let's cut to this camera here. Ooh, what's going on here? 
What is going on here? Okay, we've got some notes, which we'll read in a second. Um, what else we got here? This is like treasure, just some lint. <laughs> mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? This guy. Uh, we've got whatever this is, some type of crystal. Oh my God, so many things in here. Okay, hold on, let's empty this out. We've got all these sort of crystals, more of these sort of crystals. I'm guessing those are part of the puzzle, but there's so many like rocks and stuff in here. This is insane. There's a lot of uh, sort of junk in here. I don't know if it's junk, maybe it's priceless artifacts, right? Maybe there's a $29,000 diamond in here. Imagine, eh? Just a thousand dollar puzzle and one of these crystals just happens to be like the world's largest ruby or something. All right, that's empty, we're empty. Okay, that's where we start. Oh, chat, check this out. Switch to this camera. What does that look like, this little symbol here? Does anybody recognize that? It looks a lot like what we got going on here. Open this up, let's get this gross finger out of here and look at this ring. All right, swap to this camera here, boys. Check this out. This is the ring that was on that finger. We're gonna go ahead and uh, place in there. So let's go. Not doing anything. All right, well, anticlimactic a little bit. I'm just looking around. So the first thing you wanna do with these puzzles is feel around to see what is, uh, what is loose. Imagine if we just sit here all day and the puzzle is just doesn't do anything and we can't figure it out. That's my greatest fear right now is not being able to solve the puzzle whatsoever. Taking a chance, you know, doing it online. This here, check this out. Right here. Can we zoom in on that? This looks like it comes out. What does that do? Nothing. Let's read what we got here. Can we, can we go to top down? Okay, we got two notes here that we're gonna read. Uh, one here, we'll just make sure we're in focus, and there we go. So, there's this and this. To, who, to whoever finds this letter, congratulations. The treasure of the city of Soragus is yours to take. Whomever you are, you were clever enough to earn riches. Now go on and use them however you please. There is more to our legacy, and we hope intelligent minds such as yourself feels adequately rewarded from our gift. I personally don't feel adequately rewarded quite yet. I feel like I feel like this is not worth $30,000, so we're gonna keep going. <laughs> uh, it says here, I saw the virgin close, close by the pale bishop's right hand, and she was following him. And her two beasts stood by her sides, and her left hand caressed one breast, one beast horn, sorry. <laughs> little, uh, little Freudian slip. And the arrow fell, but it missed her by three paces. And ferocious lion, mighty bull were close together despite their differences, but always did justice oppose the brutal strength of the predator. So this looks like a clue here. I saw the virgin close by the pale bishop's right hand. Pale bishop, the virgin. Oh, so there's astrological signs all around the bottom. Let's look for the virgin, right? Which is here, Virgo. Virgo's down here by the bishop's right hand. This is the bishop, I guess his right hand is over there. And she was following him and her two beasts stood by her side. Her left hand caressed one beast's horns, and the arrow fell, but it missed her by three paces. Hmm, oh, are we supposed to put these? Here we go. So right here, chat, we have all of these sort of crystals, and these crystals also have, they also have these star symbols on them, these uh, astrological symbols here. And I'm guessing, with the paper that we have here, that we need to be placing them on top of this puzzle here. So, so first things first, saw the virgin close up by the pale bishop's right hand, and she was following him. The symbol for Virgo is this here. That's the symbol for Virgo, so that's what we're looking for over here, which is this one. That means we gotta place this by the pale bishop's right hand. So I'm guessing it's probably here. Pale bishop's right hand, that would be over here right there. And she was following him. And her two beasts stood by her side. Her two beasts. I'm looking for beasts here because we have fish. Okay, Aries might be a beast. Taurus might be a beast. Capricorn. Leo. How do I know which one it is? Gemini. Leo and Taurus, somebody says. Leo and Taurus. Two beasts. And her left hand caressed one beast's horn. Okay, so we know that to her left is going to be a beast with horns. So either Taurus, Capricorn, or... Aries, right? We have Taurus here, we have Aries. Is this, uh, what symbol is this? And we have 
This is Leo. So we know horn has to be on the right. Two beasts by her side and her left hand caressed one beast's horn. Her left hand caressed one beast's horn. So let's say it's Aries, right? Might not be. And the arrow fell, but it missed her by three paces. The arrow, oh, this is an arrow right here. So this is an arrow uh, fell by three paces. And the arrow fell, but it missed her by three paces. The arrow fell and missed her by three paces. So one, one, two, three. I'm guessing back here because it's three paces either side. So we'll put the arrow there. And ferocious lion and mighty bull were close together despite their differences. So we know that Leo and Taurus are together and always did justice oppose the brutal strength of predators. So, and this is, uh, this is Libra and it opposed the beasts. So I'll just place them all here and maybe something's gonna happen. Nothing. Maybe we'll switch out the Aries and the Taurus. Uh, <laughs> someone says you try plugging in your machine. Yeah, thanks for the tip. There's a bit of an ambient sound coming from the box because of the ring being there. So that's dope. Um, now we still have to figure out the problem of the crystals here. And this is the order which we had. That just doesn't stay in there. Okay, we had arrow opposite. One, two, three paces here. Hey! Let's go! What do we have here? Okay, first of all, we have this here, which has a little arrow on it. Okay, interesting. And then we have this. We have a little dude in here. We got this light that went on. And then we have this, which is backwards. Aha! Chat. The mirror. We have to read it in the mirror. Oh my God, this is so hard to do. It says, no one could ever beat Frederick the biter in a, in a fight, but a cold wind was enough to put him down. And then on the top it says, the chosen shall come, love shall have made its mark upon his skin. He will seek an answer and will find he needs to evolve, evolve in capital. Love shall have made its mark upon his skin he will seek an answer and he will find he needs to evolve. And then something about a cold wind here on this guy here. Let me read this again. No one could ever beat Frederick the, it looks like biter, biter, Frederick the biter in a fight, but a cold wind was enough to put him down. All right, a cold wind. I'm reading chat right now. Can you blow on something? Use the force young one. Can you blow on something? Get ready. <laughs> Whoa! Something happened. I heard a sound. Okay, that actually did something. Take a torch to it, calm down. So something happened, not sure what exactly. There was also this little knob that we found earlier. Oh, this comes up. Did you guys hear that? What? Um, okay, so we have this here, which is kind of cool. Oh, check this out. In here are little symbols of like playing cards. So we have spades, diamonds, clubs, and hearts. And it keeps making noises. Spades, clubs, diamonds, and hearts. You're a card collector. Front lights on. The front lights on? Oh, there's a door here. This opens up. I think we have to solve something here. The chosen one shall come. Love shall have made its mark upon his skin. Are they talking about a tattoo? Maybe it's an Easter egg. Can you insert the iron rod inside the moving pawn? No, there's no hole there. It's actually just, I think, a sensor. The chosen one shall come. Love shall have made its mark upon his skin. He will seek an answer and he will find he needs to evolve in capital letters. Evolve in capital letters. Get the top down here. If this is it, I have a tattoo here uh, that says love. And it has symbols, right? So it's the three, the ace, the queen, the seven, and it has symbols. You can spell evolve 
with these letters, right? So maybe, okay. Oh, so switch back to front camera. So get this. Uh, we have symbols in here. Maybe we need to spell evolve with the symbols. Hold on. My brain's trying to wrap, <laughs> my brain's trying to wrap around it. Okay. So evolve would be uh, spades. Okay. Spades, heart, club, diamond. Spades, heart, club, diamond. Hearts, spades. Spades, heart, club, diamond, heart, spades. Get out of town! Come on! Luckily you didn't remove that tattoo. Yeah, imagine I tattooed over it or something. There'd be no way to open this puzzle. Well, this is dope because now this puzzle is made for me. This is 100%. Now I know why I could only open this puzzle. Okay, so we got a door here. You wanna have a look in there? All right, so we have another little dude. Can we take him out? We can. By the will of the cards, so shall the signs above be tilted. I'm tilted. What, is, what does that mean? By the will of the card, so shall the signs above be tilted. Oh, top down? All right, chat, this is the dude. By the way, check that out. His shield has my logo, which is pretty neat. Chat's saying tilt the crystals, turn the crystals. Okay, we will. Uh, but I noticed you can take these out. So I'm guessing because there feels like there's like a little compartment in here. We'll take all these out. Okay. Tilt the crystals. Okay, on it, on it, on it. Chat, you're a great help. We got a little message. There is a tiny little message. If you want to reach the third door, you must turn your eye towards the nearest clover and knock thrice upon the pillar, then hold on. If you want to open a third door, you want to open a third door. Okay, like clubs here. Okay. These are all clubs here. Little club symbols. Knock thrice upon the pillar, then hold on. Oh, they mean this? Maybe we have to do the other thing first. So it made a sound and we got a light. We got a light here. Okay, we got a light. So we did a thing. This is good. We have a light that's on, but we're not done. Uh, there's some other clues here that we need to figure out. And like you said, we got to tilt the crystal. So let's put this one back to where it was. And how do we tilt the crystals? Why do we tilt them? By will of the cards, social the signs above be tilted. We've got, uh, we've got playing card symbols, right? We've got a bunch of playing card symbols here. So shall they be tilted. So let's go to the little pillar. Where was that? Where was the pillar? Right here. Those are where the signs are. What does that mean? Why would we need two of them? Tilt them to turn the symbol on the doors below. Turn them to match the message. You're right, but why these symbols? It has something to do with this. That's for sure. With this thing here, because we're getting those symbols. Can we pull this out? Oof. All right. Flip the, I'm reading chat, by the way. I have a, I have a big monitor here where I can see all of what you're, uh, what you're suggesting. Check your back tattoo, someone says. <laughs> Could you imagine? Maybe that's what the mirror's for. I'm just like, uh, what about the piece took off the top? Yeah, actually, good call. Huh, is it magnetic? Somebody says, yeah, take your shirt off. <laughs> Maybe this is, uh, is this a point in time where we ask for a hint? Would you like to get a hint? Yes or no, you can vote. Uh, go ahead and vote. You got one minute to lock in your answer. Uh, no, man, we got this 92%. All right, enough said. By the will of the cards, so shall the signs above be tilted. So we know that these have to be tilted. We know that there's cards and we know that there's this, this one part here that lifts, that reveals in this whole different playing card symbols. As I'm showing the camera, can we f check this out? What do you think that is? Okay, so for instance, oh, this is interesting. Okay, so let's look at, okay, diamonds and hearts is the top one, right? Which would be this back one here, which would be this back one here, right? Spade and heart is the next one. Spade, 
It's like this. So I'm gonna try and follow what it says. It's a little tedious to hold on with one hand. So let's just do this like this. Okay, so we have the first one. We have the second one, which is tilted, which is that direction, that's fine. It's a little misleading because they're, like what side am I looking at it from, you know? Two symbols, two zodiacs. Match the zodiac above the symbol. There are two symbols. You're right, you're absolutely right. That's what we have to do. Okay, hold on, let's start over. Diamonds and hearts. Diamonds was a straight line, and hearts was a line like this, like that, yep. Straight line, like that. And now we're talking about this one here, and on the bottom of this one, we have Capricorn and Sagittarius. We do not have a Capricorn diamond, or a uh, rhomboid. We don't have a Capricorn rhomboid, but we do have a Sagittarius. And that would be diamonds and hearts. That would be diamond, that would be straight. So the arrow would be straight. That's actually, that's actually really smart. I don't know what to do, chat. I'm stuck. All right, let's go ahead and throw, let's go ahead and throw down a hint. How are we looking at the hint? Uh, 62%, yes. All right, let's go. We, okay. That's, to, that's uh, Leo, Virgo, and Aries. There's only two wrong. Libra is this one, okay. It happened. It made a sound, chat. Oh, sorry, you can't hear Antoine, sorry. He was telling me I've got uh, two wrong. So there we go, we got another light on. Uh, but we're still missing a light though, aren't we? No, wait, we got both lights. Oh no, there's two lights here, that's right. There's something else we're missing. This we've used, do we have another hint somewhere? Not a hint, but like a, a piece. Oh, we had that little note. You want to reach the third door, you must turn your eye towards the nearest clover and knock thrice upon the pillar, then hold on. We've done that. If you want to reach the third door, you must turn your eye towards the nearest clover and knock three times upon the pillar, then hold on. So I got to like look inside of it. What's that noise? It's the puzzle. The puzzle itself is making a noise. Oh, chat, check this out. Can we hop to this camera real quick? Chat, what does that look like? Can you see that? What does that look like? It looks like an eye. Turn the eye towards the nearest clover. Towards the nearest clover. Maybe here? What happened? The door opened. We've got another door. Can we zoom in? <sighs> all right, like what, an hour and a half into this? Not bad, not bad. First of all, We've got a little lady here. Oh my God. The next clue is upon us perhaps. Dear Chris, I suspect by the time this box ends up in your hands, we do not know each other yet. Sadly, I have no means of ensuring when and how you will receive this artful, uh, though I know this artifact, sorry, it's written cursive. Though I know you will and you must, I hope you will have at least pieced together by now the existence of the Society of Argus. Has Hera, H-E-R-A, bothered you yet? I should hope not, but I know she will sooner or later. As you may have questions and I cannot know what you might have learned already, allow me to explain things as plainly as I can. Though, as you should know, things can get quite convoluted when time is involved. Yeah, tell me about it. You try writing those intros. The Society of Argus is the order, or rather former order, is my order, rather former order. We styled ourselves to protectors of the timeline, you see seeking time lost relics and people. But it was all a sham. We were deceived from our very foundation. Bum bum bum. Hera, she calls herself by the name of a goddess, but I have learned this much, a goddess she is not. Though she is indeed powerful and quite knowledgeable, 
She was the founder of our order and for a long time its mistress. She has turned erratic recently, speaking of you and only you and how she wanted to kill or love, she seemed a bit confused about that, you. She wanted to kill or love me, apparently. I'm not sure where or rather when she came from, but I know she moved in time to reach our four forebears. She taught us how to feed her metal body and how to make lightning out of copper. With her guidance, she made machines, it's really hard to read this cursive. She made machines and started moving through time. But as I said, we were deceived. In any case, I have learned you are important, very important, but I cannot reach you, Chris. You see, by the time you will be reading this, I will have been dead for centuries. Respectfully yours, your friend, E, the 20th of February, 1587. She loves you to death. <laughs> okay, look what we have here. Um, for inquiries, go to labsterium.com slash Society of Argus. All right, let's try not to shut down the website here. <laughs> uh, I have a, do we have a tablet? Uh, we can get the top down here. Uh, basically, it's showing me, and I can put it to the side here so it gets a little bigger. It's bringing me to a page and it says, welcome to the Society of Argus website. Congratulations for making it this far. Sadly, we have changed temporarily and are not available at the moment. Okay. Error code at labstream.com slash 472-12-13-9-8-11-5-3-10-1-6-14 wrong timeline. Okay. Okay. Maybe what we have to do here, can I get a piece of paper? I think what we're gonna have to do here is decipher some code. They had to wait until now to solve the puzzle solve. Numbers to letters. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Pen to paper here and then we'll solve this. Thank you, Lee. All right. Here we go. Move all this junk out of the way. Okay, I'm thinking here, labsterium.com slash four, I'm thinking because Society of Argus here, and this is hard for you guys to see, but I will put it in focus for you guys. The Society of Argus part here is in capital letters. I'm thinking numbers to letters up there is what I'm thinking. Iyogu forecasts. Okay, so here, let's go to this. Labstream.com slash, okay. Go. Yes, we're in, we're in. Spell forecast, <laughs> I know. Okay, we're in. Uh, what does it say here? Oh, first of all, forecasting the future since, and then there's like, there's like these symbols here. Uh, and here it says, past, present, and future for all your, these look like, like AI people. They don't even look real, look at this. Okay, uh, present and future for all your concerning needs. Iyogu forecast is a solution. Our team of experts is comprised of chrono technicians from all around the timeline and we work worldwide. No calls, we will call you when necessary. On the bottom it says here, Chris, whoa, Chris, you need to unseat Lady Loveless if you wanna go on, which I did, which was this, Lady, I think. Uh, once you are done, take the top apart. You will need those pieces. Anything can be of use. I cannot tell you much more. E. Take the top apart. This? You mean this? The top of the box from the start? Magnet lady? Yeah, we have that. We have the ladies taken apart. Do they mean this entire thing? Kind of looks like it can come apart, but I don't want to break it. Get an ax and hit it. Yeah, you do that with your own puzzle. Oh. Oh. Well, this came out, by the way. I don't know if we were supposed to do that now or later or earlier, but this came out. Be careful, I'm getting a saw vibe. Uh, so this came off, nothing special about it. Hold on. I don't know if I'm supposed to do that. Oh. Uh. Oh. Hot dang. All right, those are all the crystals falling. Uh, over here. Uh, so we've got, we've got two holes where Lady Loveless can sit, but there's like, they're blocking. And we've got these things and we've got this. Uh, so we got those two holes, like I said, where lady, where this, uh, this piece here might be able to fit in. Uh, but right now it doesn't go in all the way. Maybe, wait, hold on. 
<gasps> look at this. Look, look, look. This is kind of cool. Watch these holes. Ready? Boom. What's this, you think? Use the top to turn it. The thing that unscrews goes in the middle. Okay, back to this cam. All right, use this, which is super smart, because it looks like it might fit in there. How cool is it that this piece is still on, the batteries are still on and everything in this piece, like it's still illuminated. Not doing anything. Oh my God. Oh. What? What is happening? What? Okay. Let's go. All right, chat here. Um, come to this camera. Some type of time machine inside. Like a flux capacitor here. We've got schematics. What does some of this say? The time anchor. It's a time anchor. Hey, first dot shot, baby. Great Scott, someone says in chat. A continuum transfunctioner. Adrenal growth patch, okay. Look at this. It looks to be almost like a broken time machine. Like they've tried to salvage it. I think that's what happened. I think that's what they were, I think this is, oh. Oh! All right, we know what to do there. One second. Okay, hold on. Let's read this letter first. We got a letter here. Hello, Chris. If you are reading this, I am happy. It means everything goes according to the way I intended. I was quite worried the Society of Argus would stumble upon my little project. I know they are still quite active by your time, though they have changed their name into something less conspicuous. I know what must happen will, and in some way already has. Hera would not be quite so obsessed with you if it had not. Try to make sense of this. You are destined to kill her. All right, makes sense to me. Heaven, you, you might already have done so. By the time I am writing this letter, she knows this, and I have learned, I have heard it from her crazed ramblings. The Society of Argus was never protecting anything but Hera's own self-interest. Selfish little Hera. Okay. She recruited agents, her knights. She calls us among the smartest of us. She designed tests to make us feel important. And to the worthiest of us, she gave the gift of time. She can make machines, you see, which she calls time anchors. It allows us to jump back and forward to whenever we are needed. This is usually a one-way trip. Oh, this is starting to make a lot of sense for all the other future me puzzles. But it can also be used in another way. The anchor is a sort of beacon, if you will. One can attune it and receive messages from all over the timeline. It is how we communicate with our scattered agents. Do you understand? Sort of, sort of. I have stolen one such anchor. I could have used it to try and jump forward in the time for you, but I think a, a better use for it is to make you a beacon. Okay, so I'm gonna become a beacon. I am repurposing one of the machines to secure the time anchor. This should facilitate our objective of having you clearly uh, destroy Hera. I know attuning yourself to the anchor is a hard decision to make, but I trust you will make the right choice because I believe you to be a good person and Hera is an evil parasite that threatens all of mankind. Respectfully yours, your friend, E, the 26th of February, 1587. Also, let's get the top down here for a second. I wanna show you something that's on this paper. So on this paper, we do have a symbol right here, as you can see, chat, and that symbol and has those arrows. So it looks like we gotta like turn this thing maybe or something, but we have matching sing symbols right here. These are the symbols uh, that you see that we have uh, accumulated before. So uh, we're gonna have to do something with that eventually. So leaving that there for your consideration. And I'm guessing it has something to do with here because we have little uh, little diamond symbols here. As you can see. So it's probably, this probably has something to do with the positioning of these diamonds here. That is my guess. And we also have, didn't we also have a clue on that website? 
I need to go back to that website. We also had a clue on that website there to do something. All right, first things first. Can we uh, hit this camera real quick? I want to try something. I don't know if uh, I'm meant to do this right yet, but we have a fingerprint right here, as you can see. Identity match. Welcome, Initiate Ramsey. This time anchor has been locked for safety. Please enter the code. Please enter the code. Try the amputated finger. Let's get back down to this one. Additional match. Knight Oculon has been recorded as your mentor, Initiate Ramsey. You have been recorded already, Knight Oculon. Have you lost weight? <laughs> have, you, have you lost weight? That's hilarious. Okay, same message. Have you lost weight? What if I do it? It feels like you have. It feels like you have. <laughs> That's pretty dang dope. Okay, so what do we have to do? Okay, we have these buttons here, chat. Check this out. Can we come down so we can see all the different things here? You see all these buttons here, chat? Let me get this out of the way so we don't hit anything. We've got all these different buttons. Maybe I have to turn them on, so I'll just try. Okay, now it's yellow. That one's yellow. Something inside the flux capacitor. What is that side? Hold on, let me let me come around to this side here. Okay, there are a lot of different colors there. These things like run through a whole bunch of different colors here. And we have this thing on top, right? Maybe it's a pattern you have to follow. That's what I'm thinking too. The clues are on the blueprint, maybe. But some of them are just like math equations. One thing we do have though is whatever was written on here, right? Or are they gonna be like something like that? They gotta be here. Just trying to understand the orientation of uh, these little crystals here. Check the rocks, the stones, get a hammer. Match the arrows on the page with the top of the box. That's what I'm trying to do. I just don't know what the orientation of this is, right? So like Aries, for instance. Yeah, I don't know which side is up because there's nothing telling me. So if you look on here, there really isn't anything to tell me the orientation of where to start. I really feel like it's these things, so I'm gonna grab a whole bunch of these. Oh, they're lighting up. Check it out. There's a little light in there. You see the light in that crystal? Oh, green, red, white. Okay, now we just have to find, okay, so if that's there, so this one's green on there, and that one is right here. To the right of it would be Aries. The arrow one is Taurus, which is there. There are four symbols on top of the website. That's what we're gonna go look at right now. We're gonna go look at the website, and there are four symbols. We had Leo, whatever that one was, Taurus, and what, Capricorn? No, that's not Capricorn. Whatever. We had those symbols. So only Leo, no Virgo, no Aries, and it should be those four. And now maybe, oh, now maybe I have to find their colors where they turn on to or something. You got lights on both sides too, eh? And the front one should be white, which it is. You lift the lid somehow, no. We need a camera from another perspective. Uh, here, here's your perspective. It's uh, basically you got those numbers or those colors and they're matching with the colors that are on top of here. Now we have followed along with this, so we are pretty much exactly where we're supposed to be. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so check this out, check this out. Um, you see this, this light right here? This is a blue light, doesn't look blue on screen. Look where the wires are leading. They're leading down here. Oh, there's numbers. Chat, we got it, we got it. Okay, hold on. Let's go back to the other camera. Can we zoom in on the front of that? Okay. Perfect. See, you have the number here, one, two, three, and four, right? One, now we have the symbols on our tablet, which are these. Those are probably gonna be one, two, three, and four. One being Leo, all right? So it goes here and it goes to this one. What color is Leo? 
Leo is blue. We get blue. The number two wire, number two wire, leads to this one here. Number two on the symbol is green. So we're already at green, totally good to go. Number three wire is the one you see in front of you here. Number three is the one which is, uh, number three is Taurus and Taurus is red. We go red. Last one, number four, which is around back, must be white. Uh, must be white. You can go ahead and turn this one on here. Time anchor unlocked. Time anchor not attuned. Please calibrate. So it says time anchor not attuned. Let's go. We gotta, we gotta calibrate. What's this? What's that in front? What's going on there? I'm coming around to have a look-see. Have a little gander, take a little captain's cook. Oh, it's a sequence. We got a sequence going. Uh, you guys can see that, right? Yellow, green, blue, red. Yellow, green, blue, red. Yellow, green, blue, red. Yellow, green, blue, obviously red. Okay, another sequence pops up. This one's a little trickier. Yellow, yellow, red, green, green, red. Yellow, yellow, red, green, green, red. Yellow, yellow, red, green, green, red. Yellow, yellow, red, green. Okay, so far so good. Uh, yellow, yellow, red, blue, green, blue. I'm looking for something to, okay, yellow, yellow, red, blue, green, blue, green. Yellow, yellow, red, blue, green, blue, red. Yellow, yellow, red? No! Green, green, yellow. Red, blue, red. All right, looking for, can we zoom in more on that? Is that, to get in, yeah, there we go. We're looking for patterns. We have the double greens that repeat, right? So green, green, yellow, red, blue, red, green, blue, yellow. Green, green, yellow, red, blue, red. Oh, there is a pattern. Blue, red, blue, red. And that one had blue, red, green, blue, green, blue. Blue, red, blue, red, yellow, red, blue, red. Yes. Ah, it's like mind numbing. Red, red, yellow, red. And then we have red, red, green, red. Okay. Green, green, red, green. Green, blue, green, green. Yeah. blue. Yeah. Okay, it's getting harder and harder, these patterns. All right, you guys go ahead. Look at that for a second. We'll see if you guys can figure this one out. Let me know in the chat. Easiest way to solve a puzzle is to have chat do it for you. So every scene, blue, 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 blue. All right, you got it, chat. Okay, time, time coordinates are, are put into, oh, what is this? We're getting a pattern here. Blue, green, red, blue, green, red just blue green red so notice the heights so blue is at the bottom green is in the middle yellow is at the very top and then red is about there you see that now the buttons are actually at different heights as well so i'm thinking the lowest being red wait lowest being blue the lowest is blue which one of these is the lowest it is this one here i believe yes that one will turn to blue uh, green is the next one up, which is this one here. And then we have yellow at the very top, which is this one. Turn that to yellow. And then red is the last one over here. Again? Okay, another pattern. Let's go. Yellow, blue, red. There's a lot happening. It starts over and over, but like it takes a while. Blue, red, green. So yellow at the very bottom. I mean, ah, stop. No, I can't see what I'm, okay, blue, we, we did it. We got blue. Okay, wait, hold on. Yellow, blue, red, red is this one. And then green is at the very top. And then it keeps going. Yellow is now this one. And the last one, it's very hard to see, but the last one's gonna be red at the very top.
Okay. Again, same thing, I think. And then blue over here. Let's go. Detected. Manual reception necessary. Please cancel time interferences. Cancel time interferences. Oh, blue, blue, blue. Where's blue? Oh, I have to turn them. I have to turn them all blue? Let's go. What's the next color? Purple? Three. Ah! Okay, turquoise. Four. Okay. A blue. Is that white? Was that white? Green. Yellow. Ah. No. No. Yellow. Received from time anchor unknown, time period unknown. Please proceed with caution when receiving packages from uncertified timelines. All calibrations done. Time anchor set to sleep mode. Goodbye, Initiate Ramsey. Goodbye. Hot. Dang! Let's go! We did it! Holy! We have a letter. We have a deck of cards. Can you zoom in on that? What is these? I've never seen these before in my life. Astronaut cards. Pretty dope. I'm glad you made the right choice. Not that there was ever any doubt. You see, the decision to make yourself a beacon for time and objects is, shall we say, retroactive. Hera and the Society of Argus Technology, by essence, does not care much about doing things in order. I hope you do not feel like I tricked you. So you are now, and always were from this day henceforth, a time anchor. You might have already f uh, felt its side effects, strange items falling out of their proper time and into your hands. Not to mention an accrued tendency to arrive either very early or very late at meetings. This is very me, this is very true, by the way. Uh, as for Hera herself, I think you might have already beaten her. Do not rest easy. She is a ghost in a machine and what is dead may never die. I would rather worry about my former colleagues from the Society of Argus or their contemporary incarnation, uh, the Iogu forecasts. Sooner or later, they will know what I have done and I suspect it will not be pleasant for me. My work on this machine and the time anchor is done. I shall send it to you now and have a good life, my friend. E, 30th of February. 1587. So this leaves us in a place where we know that this continues now. This goes on. There's an, this, this, this machine and the Society of Argus chasing us down through time and trying to get at me. These are kind of cool. Oh, back, back on me, back on me. Listen. We can see you now, Chris. We know what you've done to our Holy Mother. 
You've stolen what you had no right to steal. In time, we will come for you. You cannot hide. Enchanté.